Hey friends, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So we're doing a little mini thrifting road trip today. I'm here with my husband and we're in Logan, Utah. We came here for a little staycation. They have a really cute hotel here called the Anniversary Inn. And so we're just spending the weekend there. But of course I can never drive to a new location that's far away, farther away from my home without checking out the thrift store. We're at the Logan DI and I've heard a lot about this DI. I've heard that it's not very good, that you can't shop very much. Logan is kind of like a college town. So typically in my experience, like the college towns don't always have the best thrift stores. I don't have super high hopes, but I feel like I'm gonna find like one really cool thing or just like a really cute vintage piece. So anyway, we're about to head into the Logan DI. If you wanna see kind of a little bit more of the behind the scenes of our weekend, or if you wanna see kind of the really cute hotel we're staying at, feel free to subscribe to the Patreon on staycation vlog of our weekend so if that sounds interesting to you you can sign up for the patreon for five dollars a month so without further ado we're gonna head into the di we're gonna check it out but first a quick word from today's sponsor today's video is sponsored by dossier dossier is an affordable online perfume company with a risk-free system you guys have seen me partner with them so many times so i've been working with them for a long time i've been wearing their perfumes for a long time i have probably like 20 of their scents and I just keep them all in rotation and I thought I would just kind of give you my top five scents from Dossier show you what I like everybody likes different scents and has different scent preferences the perfumes I like may not be what you like I typically like really sweet fruity so if you're into very sweet fruity perfumes you'll probably like something similar to what I like but luckily if that's not your jam they have a quiz on their website that you can take and once you take that quiz they'll give you a couple suggestions on what perfumes to try out first but but of course the best part about dossier is if you do end up getting perfume that you just don't like for whatever reason you can always return it to them within 30 days for a full refund no questions asked but let me just show you real quick my top five one of my absolute favorites i have talked about this one a lot is floriental vanilla imagine like that vanilla smell body spray that you had from bath and body works or victoria's secret back in the day and it kind of like make it an adult version this one's like a little less sickly sweet a lot more mature but still has that really fun vanilla smell. This one's a little bit newer to me and this is fruity orange. Um, obviously it's all in the name. It's just a very fruity orangey smell, which personally I love. I wanna smell like a piece of fruit. This one is also new to me, but I've been wearing this every single day for at least the past two weeks. And this is fruity oak moss. This is the one that in my opinion kind of smells like if fruity pebbles were a perfume, but not quite as sweet. It definitely still has that like perfume quality. It doesn't straight up just smell like fruity pebbles, but it gives the vibe and that's all I need. Next is fruity honey. You can see this is my absolute favorite from them. It's almost gone, but fruity honey literally is in the name. It's just a honey smell with a little bit of a fruity twist and it's literally so good. Last but definitely not least is Oriental Cherry. This is kind of like the orange one, except for it smells like cherries. And as always, if you want to save a little bit of money at checkout when you find your next perfume, you can use my code HaleyP10 at checkout to get 10% off your order. So I will leave Dossier's website as well as the perfumes I recommend linked in the description box. Huge thank you once again to Dossier for sponsoring today's video. And now back to the video. Okay, starting in the pajama section, one of my favorite check sections to check, especially at DI, but whenever I don't know where to start, the dress and pajama section, as you all well know, is one of my favorites. This mixed flannel piece already caught my eye. It is cool, it's like a little nightgown. I love that it's all the mismatched plaid patterns, and I think this could be cool some way, like super fun. Someone could really dress that up and make it fun just not quite my journey like okay if this was your size it's kind of like a nightgown and you just wore it with some grungy boots and some fishnet tights that would actually be really cool because it's the mixed flannel pattern am i kind of talking myself into this you know it's honestly probably worth trying on so we're gonna grab that not quite my size but this is a really pretty vintage cami almost a slip dress but like tank top look at how pretty that peachy pink color is with that embroidery on the chest. And it's just like the softest gathered fabric. I love it. And then we have this amazing hot pink piece behind it. That's like a really pretty hot pink slip dress. We love it. Okay, time to look through the dresses now. We just found the one flannel piece in the pajamas. I can tell there's definitely a smaller selection here, but I found some really good things. I already found something pretty cute in the dresses. So let me show you. So it might not pick up on camera, but this is a really pretty hot pink slip dress with like a really cute 
shapely figure. I'm gonna throw that in. We're just gonna take all this to the dressing room and try it on. Here's a super cute vintage like tropical print Hawaiian dress. It's not super my style, but it is kind of fun. And it looks like it'd be about my size. So actually I'm gonna try that on too. This is also another fun one. This one I'm not even gonna worry about because I don't typically wear a ton of house dresses, but that is a really fun vintage tropical print as well. This is kind of a fun flowy top. It does have like these shoulder cutouts, which is my favorite. So I don't think I'm gonna try it on, but that would actually be so cute on someone because it's like sheer and it has a good little cinch at the waist and fun sleeves. So anyway, just wanted to share fun little sheer Y2K top. Okay, we don't have a ton, but I feel like we found a couple good clothing finds to try on. So now I'm gonna look at the accessories. It looks like they have a good amount of shoes and like hats and belts and things. So maybe we'll have some like really good luck in the accessories, but I'm happy with what we found so far. I'm excited to try it all on, but let's go over to the shoes because they've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like 10 racks full of shoes. So maybe that's where we'll hit the jackpot today. How cute are these stretchy 90s sandals? They look a little big for me, but they say they're a size eight, which is what I wear. So I'm gonna try them on, but I at least had to show them even if they don't fit because they are so cute and colorful. Totally my style. So I'm gonna throw them on um, and hopefully these fit. I also just found this pair of white Skechers in my size. I'm gonna try these on as well, but I was literally just thinking this morning how I need to buy a new pair of sneakers that aren't Converse that are actually gonna be comfortable and my feet aren't gonna be sore, so. Are these the ones? I have such a hard time picking out sneakers because I'm not a sneaker person. So it's like, are these cute? Are these ugly? I don't really know, but I'm gonna try them on and if they're a good fit and comfortable, I'll probably get them. Cause I mean, it's just like a basic white sneaker. It's like a little chunky, but not too chunky. So I feel like it's not too trendy. It'll stay in style. And I feel like Skechers are typically pretty expensive. These ones are six bucks. So I'm gonna try them on because literally I just did um, the yard sale yesterday and any of my markets, I never really have that good of sneakers to wear. Like all of my sneakers are just like super cute or not very functional as far as like comfort. So these could be a lifesaver. I don't know, I think it looks cute and it's my size and it's pretty comfortable. So I think these are definitely a keeper. This is a really fun camel colored leather blazer. I'm just not a leather black jacket or blazer person, um, but they actually have a couple good. This one's like suede. So lots of high quality jackets that are super cute and fashion forward. Good like nude staple pieces. Like I wanna get this cause I wanna be the kind of person that wears this. It's just not me. So I'm gonna leave it here, but it's only eight bucks. So it's like a really good deal for a nice true leather blazer. These are some really cute pastel pink high-waisted 80s trouser pants. I think these would fit me, but I don't think I'm even gonna try them on because I just already have so many pairs of pink pants already. So we're gonna leave those here, but another super cute 80s find. Okay, I'm honestly feeling pretty tired. My brain is a little fried today, so this video has been a little all over the place, but I think I'm gonna do a quick check of the men's section, then I'm gonna run to the dressing room and try stuff on. So I'll probably just see you in the dressing room and we can try on all the fun finds. Okay, here's the tropical dress. I don't think you can tell on camera. It actually looks pretty cute on me. I think it's a really good shape for me, but it's really tight in the chest. If I turn like that, you can probably see it's a little small. Honestly, I was ready just to be like, yeah, I'm probably not even gonna try this on because I don't like it that much. It's not my style, but I, I really like the way it fits and it looks cute with the necklace. Gonna leave it here, I think, because it's too small, but it's just such a cool shape and cut. I just think the sleeves as well as like this bust line are so cute. Obviously not on me because it's too small, but I don't know, that's kind of a cute shape, but it's just a little too small in the chest, so not for me, but definitely a cute option. Okay, I'm definitely getting this one. You'll have to use your imagination a little bit with the styling on this, but I think it could turn out really cute. So first of all, imagine it belted with like a cool, fun belt, maybe even with this necklace, I don't know, but some cool jewelry, maybe like just a lot of gold layered, and then some red or black fishnets and some chunky boots would be really cute, just because the mismatched plaid pattern is so grungy, especially in the flannel. So yeah, it could just be like a boring blah nightgown, but add a little bit of shape. 
and add some accessories and no one would ever know and it'd be like the coolest grungy dress and I think this is literally like four dollars so I'm definitely getting this not gonna be able to wear it for a while but this is gonna be the coolest fall outfit so I'm very excited I love all the colors and the mismatched plaid so with the sleeves rolled up I think that could be really cute so let's get it okay a little small on the chest on this one too could be because I'm layering it over a t-shirt but I don't think it's the best but that would be super cute layered over a t-shirt and then belted um just not my journey obviously because it's the wrong size but they're about to close now so I'm gonna run out um but that was a little try on I'll see you out in the car Hello again, so it's a new day. We're actually on the way home from our little staycation, but actually the title won't be clickbait anymore because we're actually doing a real thrifting road trip now because we came to another thrift store. Um, I was obviously at the Logan DI yesterday and it just wasn't great for me because mentally my brain was like a hot potato. So I thought on the way home we could hit up another thrift store, which is the Brigham City DI. Brigham City is like a neighboring city to Logan. This DI definitely looks a lot smaller just from the outside. So I don't know what to expect. I've never really even heard anything about this one. So let's go in and check it out. See, it looks kind of small from the outside, but it actually, now that the door's open, it looks like it might be bigger on the inside. So let's check it out. All right, I just found this amazing pink lamp. I haven't tested it out yet, so I'm looking for an outlet. It doesn't have a lampshade, but I have it some at home maybe that would work. So now I just need to find an outlet to see if it works because it's only six bucks and I've been really needing a cute tall lamp and this is perfect if it works. Okay, good news is the lamp works so I'm definitely getting it, which I'm so excited. I've been needing a lamp for my room for so long because there's just like one corner in my room that's so dark and it's right next to my mirror. It's a little sweet cute. I love that it's already pink. It might need a little bit of a touch up, but it'll be good for now. Um, the bad news is, or like the negative side is like obviously this lamp is so tall and like cumbersome. I feel like I'm kind of in the way so I kind of want to just like hurry and skim a few sections and then leave because I feel like I'm just like carrying a weapon around almost but there's this huge belt section here which at my thrift stores usually there are not even close to this many belts so I kind of want to look through this and see if there's anything and then I might just head out because this is like just so in the way but let's look through the belts first real quick and then maybe just a few more things and then I'm gonna leave because I just I need to get this out to the car lots of fun colorful options sadly nothing that i like that would also fit me this one's pretty cute and it looks like it fit but i'm more of like a waist belt versus like a belt to hold up my pants if that makes sense but like i said tons and tons of really cute colorful pieces to choose from just found this super cute purse i love the shape of it i love that it's silver and i love the chunky handle I don't think I'm gonna get it because I wish it was a little less plasticky looking and like a little more, I don't know, like if the plastic chunky handle was like a color or if the bag was a color, I think I'd like it more, but it's just a little, I don't know, kiddish to me, but I do think it is super cute. I think the chain handle is a really fun detail if it was just maybe a little different. Oh my gosh, look at how cute these are. I think these will be they look about the right shoe size but i can never get my foot into boots because like it's so hard but i'm still gonna try because these are like the coolest cutest cowboy boots they're like the perfect height i'm like 99 percent positive these won't fit but i'm still gonna try them these green ones are super cute too one day i'll find cowboy boots that fit my wide foot but um today just isn't that day sadly one last super cute last minute find before i head out i love a good oops i love vintage looney tunes i love tweety bird it's on like a super cute hot pink hoodie uh so we're gonna throw that in and we're gonna check out with our cart with some pink finds husband's laughing at me because the lamp why <laughs> i just, just walked out of the store carrying this huge lamp look how cute it is it needs a little bit of uh retouching but it's super cute so and it was only six dollars and it works and imagine it with the cow print lampshade that we have and the light bulb even works still so hopefully this will fit in the car i made it back out to the car the lamp is safely in the back i'm so excited about the lamp i've needed one for my room for so long like i was saying there's just like that one quarter it's like by my jewelry box and by two of my mirrors and that's like obviously the spot i want a lot of light so i can see myself so that'll be exciting and even if it doesn't look good in our room i can replace 
the black one we have in our living room with a pink one. It has some chips and some discoloring, but the fact that it's already pink would be easy to spray paint it and make it the same color of pink or just kind of leave it as is for now. I have a cow print lampshade that I thrifted forever ago that I'm hoping works on it because that would be so cute, like pink with cow. But I thought I'd just do a quick car haul of everything I got and show you. So of course I ended up getting the flannel nightgown thing from the Logan thrift store. It was four dollars. Yeah and I think it'll be a really cool vintage looking dress once I wear it with like a belt and some tights and some boots and jewelry. Like no one's gonna know it's a flannel nightgown they're gonna think it's a dress and I I don't know maybe this is a little too confident but I'm like so positive once I start wearing this I'm gonna get so many compliments and I don't mean that as like oh look at me I'm so cool I'm just saying that as check the pajama section when you're at the thrift store and if you see something with potential get it because I swear no one will ever know I wore a rainbow nightgown the other day and because I wore it with a belt and jewelry nobody knew it was a nightgown so definitely check out the pajama section it can be a little bit cheaper sometimes have really nice high quality fabric like flannel or silk and you can find some really cool unique grungy pieces like this of course I also ended up getting the sketchers which I'm so excited about I have desperately needed a pair of sneakers for the longest time and I'm not a sneaker person um, so I don't know if these are actually cute or not, but I feel like these are like pretty good neutral shoes. What do you think, Ty? Like, I feel like you can't go wrong with just like a basic pair of white sneakers. And these were $6, which I feel like is a pretty good deal for Skechers. They would even kind of match the dress I'm wearing today. I probably wouldn't pair that, but if I was like going out and about and I needed to, these will be a good option because I am doing um, Craft Lake City in August, so I need some good shoes because I'll be standing a lot. And then, of course, right here at the end, as I was walking out of this DI, I snagged the vintage Tweety Bird sweatshirt hoodie thing. Um, very excited about this. Just a good, cute vintage hoodie, and it was $4, so even better. I love thrifting fall and winter things in the summer because they're usually cheaper you have a better selection and you can just like stock up and get ready. So that was a good last minute find. But other than that, I think that's gonna be it for today's video. I'm sorry, I know it was a little bit shorter, but final thoughts, I don't think either of the DIs were bad. I can definitely see why some people don't love the Logan DI as much. I think the issue is, is it has good things, but there's so many people shopping there and there's just not as much to shop. So it definitely takes more time and the right day to find something really good or something your style. That being said, I did find some good things there and I saw a lot of other good things. So it just takes patience and probably going a bunch of times to find what you want because there's just less inventory. The Brigham City DI though is a bussin', and not just because of what I found, there were so many good things in there. I was looking through the display case of collectibles and they had so many good like retro video games for like less than $10. But the prices here were like premium. The pink lamp I got was only $6. Obviously the hoodie was only four dollars. So I'm really happy with the prices and also if you are in this area like the Brigham City area and you are plus size definitely check out this DI because Every DI has like a plus size section But this by far was like the fullest most inventory I've seen in a plus size section by far I almost feel like they had more plus size options here than they did straight size, which is awesome But if you are plus size and you're in Utah, I would maybe say check out the Brigham City DI um, because they had a lot of pieces from XL to 4XL. So if that's you and you struggle finding things your size at the thrift store and you're in the Cache County area, um, definitely check out this DI. Well, we're gonna head home. Thank you so much for watching. If you wanna get a behind the scenes vlog, um, we spent a night at the Anniversary Inn and we had like a super cute room. You can subscribe to the Patreon. We did like a little behind the scenes vlog there of our trip and you can see all that fun stuff. For just $5 a month, you'll get bonus videos every single month plus a patrons only live stream at the end of the month if you are in the $5 tier. So if you liked this video and you want bonus videos, go subscribe to the Patreon linked in the description box. And huge thank you to all the patrons who have supported us this far. It's been a huge help in our lives. Huge thank you once again to Dossier for sponsoring today's video. I will leave their website linked in the description box. You can shop some new perfumes for summer and you can use my code HaleyP10 at checkout to get 10% off your order. Other than that, I think that's going to be it for today's video. Thanks for coming with me on this little mini thrifting road trip and yeah, I think that's it. Have a good one. Bye. Bye. Also follow me on Instagram.
to see me style up all this stuff and keep up to date with me. Okay, bye.